One easy way to create a landscape in IFTDIS is to navigate to the Planning Cycle, Landscape Evaluation, and select Create Landscape. Another option is to go to Map Studio, click the Landscape Tools widget, and open the Create New tab. Either method will put us here in Map Studio with the Landscape Tools widget open and the Create New tab selected. If we want to create a landscape around a shape or a shape file, we can select that here from the Area of Interest drop-down. We could also draw a rectangle using Select Draw Mode, or enter the coordinates directly if we had those. Notice the unbuffered area is displayed here. Maximum landscape size in IFTDIS is 12 million acres. The buffering I'll elaborate more on shortly. Next, we can choose the version of land fire data, the fire behavior fuel model, either fuel model 13 or 40, and give the landscape a descriptive name. In many places in IFTDIS, we'll be picking the landscape from a drop-down menu that only includes the landscape names and not the folder names, so I'll make sure to give it a name that we can pick out easily. We can either store this landscape in an existing folder or create a new folder to store it in. When ready, we'll click Create, and we've just created a landscape. The landscape will take a few minutes to build. When the landscape's complete, it'll be available in drop-down menus throughout IFTDIS. Landscapes are stored in My Workspace. Notice the Status button here in the top right. So if your landscape is still building, uh, we can use this to periodically check and see if it's finished. In My Workspace, there are options to view a landscape in Map Studio, edit a landscape, download a copy, to the local computer for use outside of IFTDIS, delete a landscape, request a landscape summary report, and we can also move this landscape to other folders. Hovering over the acres buffered will show the number of pixels in a landscape. Uh, this is helpful to know whether a landscape will get resampled prior to fire behavior modeling. Uh, for more on that process, there is a resampling topic in the IFTDIS Help Center in the Landscape section, or you can just search on Resampling in the Help Center. If we're not in Workspace, we can also view the landscape from Map Studio by going to the Landscape Tools widget and clicking the Add to Map tab. There's helpful options here to filter the list of available landscapes by extent, or a landscape name. Viewing our landscape on Map Studio, we see our extent that was displayed to us when we were creating the landscape it is shown here inside the turquoise box. The area outside the turquoise box is a 4,980 meter buffer automatically added to all landscapes in IFTDIS. This buffer is not included in the statistics and tables when we request landscape summary reports or other modeling summary reports, but it is taken into account by IFTDIS when it determines whether a landscape needs to be resampled for fire behavior modeling. So, will not make a difference in reports, but will be used in the resampling process for landscapes. And that buffer exists for fire modeling purposes, so there are areas surrounding the landscape for random ignitions to be modeled during the landscape burn probability modeling. Uh, that's one example. Uh, or for fire spread to occur outside of the landscape if you're running minimum travel time fire spread. And that has been a brief introduction to creating landscapes in IFTDIS.